everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Bosmos 2, where we are playing Chaco. This is turn four. Let's jump into things. Ugh. Password. Password! Okay, so, uh, it's early game. Not a lot going on. So, we've got a couple of late prophets. We've got Cantuzili's, um... I'm assuming that's a rename because that seems very strange, but I don't know what that is. We got fourth turn prophet. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Uh, we've got number one fanboy, the pit spawn. Uh, pit spawn of Krieg. Oh, right. Krieg's like the demon nation. E fear Krieg. Cool. Um, so those are our turn four prophets. We got some battles. We have a battle in Akesta. This is our first little expansion party. We've got our little starting army of Chakoan archers, which our Chakoan archers are actually decent for archers. They got um, slightly longer than regular archer range, slightly better than regular archer damage, slightly better precision than regular archer precision. Um, and they're cheaper. So uh, good archers if we use them. We might, we might, uh, you know, like an early um, fire arrows could be a good utilization of the Chico and Archers. We'll see. It's on our uh, list of options, basically. And then we got some Chico and Spear Warriors, and these guys are basically garbage. Uh, the only, like, thing going for them that they have is, like, slightly, slightly elevated defense, um, and that they're cheap. And then we've got our Katsina Warriors, which are good, real good. So we've got everything on hold or fire because um, we've got a Divine Blessing coming out. I guess we don't have to do that because of Divine Blessing, but it it is what it is. Um, blessing goes out. Our Katsinas go forward. They are slightly faster than our uh, Chakuan Spear Warriors, so they are going to get there first, which is good. Um, and they're super tank, so they just don't die. In between, um, between Temper Flesh, Regeneration, um, their, their Slight Invulnerability, um, and their Entangling, they're pretty good. Like, we did get a, got a, they're weakened. But they have pretty high strength anyway, so this isn't gonna, you know, make him completely useless. Right? So this is, a, a pretty normal, pretty... Pretty simple cleanup battle. Um, nothing, nothing much doing. Not a whole lot of uh, province um, of indies here, so this isn't really a challenge. But we can see, right, our Ketsina warriors did the vast majority of the heavy lifting. Um, we'll check out uh, wounds and things. In a second, and then we have a battle in Escuania. Um, and this, we were a little little worried about uh, potentially bumping, but we've only got the one battle here, so we know that we did not. And we're actually up against a, a little chunk of the cab, so that's interesting. Uh, this should not prove any issue for our god, though. He gets hit once, enrages, and now that he is enraged, it's just whatever. What are you going to do? Nothing. You're not going to do... You're not going to do nothing! So it's very, very simple piece. Get that priest. Get him. Get, ah, we got him. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we have 37 experience at the end of that battle. Let's see how much we actually got. Uh, 42. So we're close to another pip. That's good. And we see we gained information, garnered information, and it is Bogarus. Bogarus down here in this. And that makes sense, right? Uh, seeing that they have... You know, what looks like probably a scales build. Yeah, that, that makes sense for Bogarus. Bogarus is um, an interesting nation. See if I can find them. This one. Yeah, so Bogarus is a interesting nation. Prefers cold scales too, right? Um, and they're a late game nation, so they don't have very high paths, but they're... they're um, they're very much in that scenario of not really a sacred-based nation. Uh, they're basically like um, Russia, right? Um, they've got some pretty cool cav in the Malia Druzina. Uh, they're pretty cool. And then they've got they've got very like low path mages, uh, but a lot of different 
um, options. They've got blood, they've got astral, they've got fire, they've got air, uh, they've got earth that they can put in communions. I think they've got just about everything but like water and nature. Yeah, they've got a little bit of death that they can throw into things. Um, so they're, they're dangerous. They're, they're absolutely dangerous. We don't, this is the type of, uh, of nation that they're not going to run at us at the beginning of the game necessarily, right? But if we leave them too long, they will become a problem, a very big problem. So, uh, we have this, uh, this information now and we can see, uh, here, Bogorus, uh, we were correct on estimating where their capital was. Um, and this is interesting, right? Because... They have this, uh, this province, Jerob, here. Uh, so actually attacking, we have multiple routes for attacking them. We can go one, two, three, four into Bogorus, or we can go one, two, three, four into Bogorus. And that's really, that's really interesting. Uh, we could come from multiple different directions if we were to start a war. That's not to say that we are going to immediately start a war, right? Um, this is just our first neighbor so that we found, so I'm talking about hypotheticals. Also, I love how our, uh, our dominion is kind of blossoming. Very, very cool. So, we've taken Escuania. Um, we've taken Akesta. Uh, neither of these provinces, by the way, have anything special in the way of recruitment. We haven't found anything special recruitment-wise so far. No cool sites or anything like that, but hopefully we will in the long run. Fingers crossed. We are, I, uh, I went back and forth on this for a while. I wanted to attack Kiban with our god. Kiban is another very valuable province, and I'd love to get more valuable provinces. But I think, I think we're okay to hold on it for now, right? I think um, probably... There's a player up here, right, in either 565 or maybe 590, maybe even 563. I don't think there's someone in 530, right? Because if there was, I feel like we would see Dominion at this point in Traban or Smacia. So uh, I, I think that there's probably someone up here, right? But I think we'll, we have time to pick up Kaban later. And I think it's going to be better. Again, we talked about this concept, right? Of It's better to make sure that uh, the Scales Nation doesn't have a lot of room to play with. Right? So we are going to go ahead and hit the Nidian range. Um, and then we're probably going to start branching out. Maybe we head back over to Mirrodon or something like this. We're going to have to be careful, actually, because uh, movement is getting a little tough in these mountainous ranges. We've got to watch out for that, right? Um, I'm also, I feel comfortable moving ag aggressively against this now that we know that it's Bogarus, because Bogarus doesn't really have anything that can challenge us, um, I think, right? They could, um, most players go for um, Malia Druzina, um, Cav, or I see some players go for like the, the Axemen because they have uh, pretty decent damage and okay-ish protection. Not great, but okay. Um, I guess you could just go for the City Guard anyways. Anyways, regardless, um, these guys have lances and the lance charge would hurt right um but they only get that once per battle and then after that it's a broadsword so even if we ran into like 10 of these guys which would be tough even for a scales nation 10 of these guys in in any short amount of time is that's a lot because these are very resource and recruitment uh, heavy right um so they're going to do a decent amount of damage on the initial charge um, they're gonna proc my Berserk, and then my Berserk, the combination of 32 Protection and Temper Flesh means that he just isn't gonna have anything to, to really deal with the bear, right? Um, the bear is gonna go Berserk, so the bear is not gonna flee, right? He's not gonna get, uh, a couple of high damage attacks on the charge, and then all of a sudden my bear's like, oh, fuck, gotta run. Um, and... The combination of... There's the chance that he kind of, like, repels me a lot. Um, 
because my bear is susceptible to that currently. Uh, but I don't think... I don't know. I, d I don't think running into something like these would be a problem. I don't think running into any of his um, his peshtis would be a problem. Uh, these guys, if he if he was running some kind of weird bless with these klists, which is something you can do, but I see it so very rarely done because these guys have horrible stats, right? Um, then maybe that would be threatening. Um, these guys, the Boy Axemen, you can actually mass enough of these that I would be somewhat worried about these. Uh, but, to kind of like add into the mix, we can see he's got some Black Hoods down here, right? Um, and Black Hoods are a, a Recruit Anywhere unit that Bogodus has. Um, they're these, can be recruited in all non-Fort Provinces. Um, and these are mostly archers, right? Um, expensive archers at that, truth be told. Uh, if you take a look at them, 18, 16, 20 um, for a mace, right? Um, which does decent damage, but this composite bow is the same composite bow that my Chikoan archers have for like 727 or something like that, right? Uh, that might not be the exact thing. So, so these black hoods are expensive archers is what they are um not great defensive stats not great protective stats nothing like that um they've got a mount so that's somewhat useful uh but i'm not i'm not scared of these things i am scared of his mage line absolutely scared of his mage core um lots of astral mages being able to do things like spam soul slay or mind burn or stuff like that is scary 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 so what we we definitely want to um boy get off my computer would you be walking on my computer what do you think you're doing what you think you're doing boy obean boy obean so we definitely want to make sure that we kind of like him him in right um e either either this is potentially an early war target or um we want to uh him him in and keep him small and maybe kind of like have a, a satellite relationship with him. Like, hey, look, uh, we're not going to swarm at you if we have friendly relations and we kind of work together, etc. But that's um, that's that's a uh, a potentially bad scenario because uh, mid to late game, mid to late game, he, he'll stomp us in big battles. Like he he's going to have so much. He's going to have such strong communions. Wait. So what we want to do is we're going to go into Nidian range. Even though I would rather kind of go up to Kaban, we're going to go into Nidian range and maybe further, uh, depending on how our Dominion progresses, uh, we might go into high peaks. But uh, for now, at the very least, we're going to go into Nidian range. This is also going to get us the connection over here to Wase. And we can see over here, someone's Dominion is spreading. Um, so this is interesting. Uh, that means probably there is an individual up here in uh, Falador, I would assume, right? Because uh, I, I wouldn't assume that it's Remington, it, though it could possibly be, right? Um, it could be Remedi Remington or Falador. Obviously, th those aren't the names for these provinces, right? Um, but I, I don't know yet. Um, this would give us a connection point, though. Um, it would be a very interesting connection point. Um, I'm not... I don't know. That seems strange to me, so I'm not super excited about this. I'm also not excited about all of this mountainous terrain. I want to kind of, like, cap... I, I want to, like, get out of this mountainous terrain. We've got some issues here. So we can see between Chaco and Bogarus, we've got a uh, field or plains, right? We move into a mountain, but this is a, a not a pass. Down here into this forest in Vongar, not a pass. And then into Bogorus, we're okay. But all the rest of this land, we've got mountain pass, we've got... Uh, let me move somewhere else real quick. Yeah, this is a mountain pass. Uh, this is a mountain pass. This is a mountain pass. This is a mountain pass. This is not a mountain pass. This is a mountain pass. This is a mountain pass. This is a mountain pass. <laughs> Pass, 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 pass. Fucking <laughs> like not pass, not pass, not pass. There's a lot of and and you gotta keep in mind, right? Our um 
our dominion is cold too, right? So come fall and winter, um, basically any time that is not summer, these these mountains are going to be they're going to be closed. They 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 going to be closed. And that is a very, very dangerous scenario for this one, especially for Nidian range, right? Because if we look at it, all of the passes on our side are going to be closed. The only passes that are going to be open are this one in Anglovania and this weird, like, cross-continent um, connection to Wase. So uh, we're going to take this because we're trying to hem in Bogarus. But I think this is going to be a very weak point for our empire. So we're going to need to do something about that sooner rather than later. Um, again, we have other potential options, right? We could, if if we needed to, we could potentially get through Ziberia and Jerib, right? Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a weird situation. Still, we're going to take Nidian range to try to him Bogarus in and keep his options limited. Um, and then we are moving from Akesta into Finica. So Finica is going to be a great province for us. Uh, so is Kingdom of Dara. Um, hopefully over the next couple turns, we'll take stuff like Finica, Kingdom of Dara, Kevin. Um, and then we're going to have a very high income, even though we have kind of crappy scales, right? I say kind of crappy. We have very crappy scales. <laughs> so... Um, this is a lot more of a challenge compared to this um, province, but we are reinforcing with our first Chikoan Sun Priest. We don't really care about him, but we do care about the three Katsina warriors that are coming with him. Because of what we've seen here, we are going to go ahead and bring stands with a brick, um, and we're gonna we're gonna specify some stuff real quick. We're gonna do. Just gonna spam some word of stone, honestly. Yeah, probably. Do some divine blessing and then spam some word of stone. Um, and then otherwise, I think we'll we'll be fine. So, uh, we did want to check for this. All we got was the one weekend. Good. Um, so w with eight Katsinas, again the. T our mileage may vary, but when I tested things, eight Katsinas was able to take on just about anything. Like, um, I would be potentially hesitant to throw it at like 90 Barbarians just because that's so many Barbarians. I actually wouldn't be super worried about the Katsinas necessarily, but I'd be worried that the Mong Katsina was going to get um, encircled and then killed. Um... But uh, against something like what's happening at Finica, we should be we should be good with eight Katsinas. Um, and then we should be able to progress forward from there. We are recruiting another Mong Katsina. I played around with the concept here. I kind of wanted to get a Pavosqua uh, because I wanted to... We need a random heir. And we have a one in four chance of getting that. Um, I would prefer it earlier rather than later. Um, so that we can get, uh, we can start site searching for air because that's going to be very important for us. But, um, because of slow research, um, you know, this is, uh, it's going to take us a while to get to where we want to be with research anyways. So right now, um, power is more important, right? Uh, um, raw power is more important. So we need another expansion party. That means another Mong Katsina, and then more Katsina warriors. Uh, so we've got a Mong Katsina coming. We've got another two warriors coming. Next turn, we will probably either grab a Pavosqua or a Chikoan Star Priest to go with our Sun Priest, um, and then probably as many Mong, uh, as many Katsina warriors as we can to fill out this uh, second Mong Katsina's army. And then we're probably going to go for like Kevin or down here into Assad or or what have you, right? Uh, we've got we've got options. Um, we might even be able to just jump straight into like North Ear or something like that. I wanna I wanna kind of expand expand in multiple directions though. So 
I'm relatively happy, and I think we're okay, generally speaking, with what's going on right now. Um, I would rather our bear be taking provinces, other provinces, but I think this is probably the wise choice for now. Um, could be wrong, we might bump, might die. Could be wrong, might get flanked by whoever's over here. Um, could be wrong, might threaten Bogarus too much, and they might join with whoever's down here or whoever's up here and come at me real fucking early on. Um, there's a lot of different potentials, but that's Dominions, right? That's the point. That's why we play the game. So, um, I have not yet reached out to Bogarus. Um... I am kind of waiting to see if they will reach out, but if they don't reach out to me next turn, um, in between now and next turn, like if I don't get a message from them next turn or if I don't hear from them on Discord next turn, I will probably reach out to them. Um, we are also moving Scout 1 up into Erisia. Erisia is not the name of the capital, right? I don't think so. Uh, we can see up here in Ald Gold, uh, but we can't see around anything. And that's uh, pretty much it for the turn, honestly. Uh, someone is buying up merch. I say someone. Uh, looks like Tortuga is buying mercenaries. And um, who's that other one? Is it this? Chattius Thunderous? Is that Nazca? Mm, I don't think that's Nazca. Yeah, definitely not. It's if you can't can't fly, you have to die. Yeah. It's Jomon. Aha. Gotcha. So interesting. Jomon and Tortuga are buying up the mercenaries. Um alright, that's it. Uh turn four, we've got five provinces. Turn five, we should have seven provinces. Turn six. Um We should have nine provinces, and then turn seven. In theory, if we're if we've got good pathing, um, we should jump from two a turn to three a turn. So should, we should go from nine to twelve provinces, and then we should be able to carry that um, for the rest of year one, while we build up some other stuff. Um, Money is somewhat tight, but we have gotten our defense, our PD up to six in Scraw Point, Zox, and Akesta. We're only at four in Escuania. Um, and that's that. So I'm going to bounce. Looking forward to the next turn. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.